right, now this is the G20 rotor um, for the 411 disc brake kit, okay? So it is a little smaller. Uh, it's kind of funny because the center on the back here is a whole lot bigger than the Ultima one, um, which is what lets it fit over the 411 hub. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to open up the center using the same setup I did on the Roadsters, basically. Uh, I'll take it to within 15 thousandths or so uh, at 115 RPMs. I'll turn it up to 460 RPMs and let it do a second, a spring pass, uh, and then I'll set it to the final dimension and uh, go from there. So uh, this is it. Uh, the last one measured out at uh, 2.993. And this isn't quite as critical because what, what I'm doing on this one here is I'm making stainless steel step sleeves. Uh, that go in and make it lug centric, okay? Um, that way I don't have to machine the rotors because that's a huge, huge drawback uh, of having to machine the rotors. So, um, or not the rotors, the hubs, anyway. Um, so I need to get to three and I'm only eight thousandths away from three. So I can just go in where it's at. Once I turn it down. That's basically just to make sure I don't get caught on a burr when I measure. I know a little note, another little note on the 411 here. Uh, I want to chamfer the backside just a little bit, okay, because the hub comes in from the back. This is a non captured on the uh, 311s, the Roadsters, it mounts to the backside of the hub, which is why the chamfer's on the front. Uh, anyway, all I'm doing is I'm going in past this little tip here that sticks out, and I'm bringing this edge up really close to what I just cut and then I'm moving it back out until I get my chamfer and then I'm going in and coming out. Not a big one, just a small one. <laughs> 